What's up, gangsters? It's a fine fall morning out here at Rube Goldberg Enterprises. And I had a few minutes before I get ready to go watch some American-style football. And I thought I would do a quick product review of, uh, like, my new favorite thing. And I say quick because it will be quick. <laughs> uh, quick even uh, by normal standards, not just by my standards. Um, uh, and that is, anyway, this new thing... The Infinity, sorry, that's not right, Infini, there is no T, Infini Cutting Mats. These things are really cool and uh, really simple. Um, and I uh, just wanted to show you guys because uh, you might like them too. Let's check it out. Okay, so what is the Infini Easy Cutting Mat and what do you need it for? So this is a really simple mouse trap. All right. These things, it's a relatively rigid, uh, it looks like it's got a, a Lexan backing on it, um, cutting board. But the magic is that it's covered with grooves. And you can hear, as I scratch my fingernail across it, that they are in fact grooves. They are not just lines for you to follow. They are grooves that I guess are laser cut in the material and what that does is it gives your knife blade something to track as you are cutting your tape. So I've got just a piece of my regular old MT washi tape on here and um, I'll explain what I'm doing with it here in a second but basically all you gotta do as you can imagine is just Pick a groove, get well, you know, lay your tape on it the way you want. Pick a pick a groove. Wow, look, I just literally stabbed myself on camera. <laughs> That's fun. Anyway, sometimes the modeling gods demand a blood sacrifice. So here we go. Just like that. And look, if somebody who's obviously as clumsy, see that, <laughs> as me can pull this off, then anybody can. The key really is to have a nice, sharp, new knife blade, as you can see, so that you've got a good point that'll ride down inside that groove. And then you just track right along it. And this one, this one is pretty cool because, as you can see, wow, okay, things are getting a little, little bloody here. Let me fix that. It's always good to break yourself open every now and then reminds you that you're alive anyway um, you can see that this one gives you the ability to select any of a, a number of different widths all the way from 0.4 millimeters wide up to one millimeter wide and what I'm using this for um, you, you might think well you know the normal thing is to um, use it for uh, paint masking. Okay, we gotta fix this. Let's see here. Let's try the super glue trick. I've always heard people say that, well, that bottle of super glue is, the tip is all clogged up and I'm not gonna take the time to undo it. Okay, hold on a minute. Let's see here. Okay, I've always heard that super glue was actually invented for quick wound closure, so let's just see if it works. I've honestly never tried it. That stupid little thing doesn't want to quit bleeding, so let's see what happens here. Brand new bottle of super glue. I'm sure if I sprayed some accelerator on there, it would definitely lock it up. But I want to see if this actually works. Wow, look at that. The blood actually seems to make the super glue set up. <laughs> so maybe um, we've learned something new. If you're running short on accelerator, you can just use blood. <laughs> anyway, all right, enough of the sideshow. This did not 
This was not supposed to be some kind of a circus. This was supposed to be a serious product review, okay? Um, anyway, I think we've seen that the super glue trick actually does work. It's kind of ugly, but it did stop the bleeding. Well, mostly. It's kind of oozing out from under it, underneath the edge there. We may have to uh, apply more. Anyhow, <laughs> so here's what I'm doing with all these little strips of tape. I'm using it to make guide strips for this riveting project that I'm doing. This is the uh, Hasegawa F4E, and it comes with virtually no surface, surface rivet detail. And I've got quite a lot to do, uh, as per these fun drawings here. So what I'm doing is just uh, getting a good estimate of the widths that I need and using the Infini cutting mat to create those strips. And then what I can do is I just start with one strip, then I have a spacer strip that I put next to it. I put the next strip of tape, move the spacer strip over, put the next strip of tape, and then just keep hopscotching my way along until I've got a complete evenly spaced pattern of parallel guide lines to run my riveting wheel along. And you can see over there, maybe, if I get the angle right, you can see over there that I have done all of the riveting on that side already. So it's, it's definitely made this job a lot easier. Are there other ways you could do it? Of course there are. There are plenty of ways that you can cut even strips of tape. But when I imagine those other ways of doing it, they all seem... Uh, pretty clumsy for me, and this is super easy, and I like it. Now, one of the cool things about the Infini cutting mats is that they come in different styles. There are, in fact, four of them, types A, B, C, and D. And as you can see, this is the type B, and it has a series of circles in segments and then various triangles and hexagons and grids that you can that you can uh, cut out. So if you were, you know, if you needed a bunch of little tiny pieces of masking tape to work your way around an irregular surface like a uh, canopy frame for example, then you might want to use this. Um, I also have a type D coming, uh, which honestly I can't remember. I think it's the big uh, curved ones. Um, and then there's a type C that I just didn't see, feel like I was going to need, so I didn't get it. But, at any rate, you can see all four types um, at uh, Hobby World USA, which is uh, where I got these. So, there you go. Pretty simple. Pretty cool. So there you go. You can see that is a pretty simple and effective tool. They are not exactly cheap. Uh, they're about, I think, 17 bucks at Hobby World USA which is, of course, my favorite place to get cool stuff. But um, for me, I really felt like it was a, an easy call because, especially with my dexterity issues, um, having to cut, you know, uh, precisely shaped pieces of masking tape uh, is just, it's just a giant hassle. And this thing makes it a whole lot easier for me, so... I definitely feel like it was money well spent, and you might as well. Anyhow, I hope you found this uh, useful and informative as always, and I definitely appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to watch. Take care. Much love.